Muslim women of the UK are outside the parliament today because the UK government has decided to debate or introduce uh, a proposed law to ban uh, the wearing of the burqa in the streets of Britain and in the streets of London. And the reason why we are here today is that we want to make a statement and a declaration and a warning to the British government that they cannot do that and there's no way that they will be successful in doing that. David Cameron wants every one of us to go back to the days of the apes and monkeys and dress and behave like monkeys by stripping ourselves of any kind of dignity. We want the MPs to tell us that, look, I cannot see your face, therefore I cannot discuss with you. I cannot see your face, therefore I cannot engage in a discussion with you. I cannot see your face, and that causes a barrier of communication between you and me. This, these kind of stupid, rubbish, uh, lame excuses made by MPs like P, um, Philip Mullivan is just, a, is just another prime example of the pervertedness of the British government. The Muslim woman, we are here today to tell the Muslim woman in Britain that don't compromise, don't give up your niqab, don't, don't give up your burqa, don't give up your jilbab, rather you should hold on stronger and more closer and more tightly to your khimar and jilbab because this is the thing that, you, that will bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The burqa, the niqab, the khimar and the jilbab, my dear sisters and my dear brothers, we do it as a matter of divine worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will not obey any creation, David Cameron or the British government or any man whatsoever who will tell us to strip our dress code in order for us to display our beauty, where our beauty is only kept for, for, the, for, for, for our husbands. We are not going to do something like this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, to let the believing woman lower their gaze and guard their chastity and they should not and they should draw their veils over their bosoms and they should not display themselves like the days of Jahiliya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your creator, my creator, the creator of man, life and universe, the one who knows best what is good for us, is telling us in the, in the Quran that do not give up your khimar and jilbab. Do not walk out into the streets of London or in the streets of Britain like like apes from a, from, a, from, a, from, a, from, a, from a zoo or a jungle. Allah subhanahu wa tells us that do not behave like the days of ignorance. Do not behave like those people who didn't know what clothes were, who didn't know what dignity was. You know, the Muslim woman came to Britain to, uh, to, um, to contribute herself and her dawah to show the British woman how to dress, how to behave, how to conduct herself in the, in the most honorable way. We, the Muslims today, the Muslim sisters today that are standing outside the British Parliament are here to tell the British woman then give up your rubbish way of life. If you want to, if you want a decrease in your rape statistics, if you want a decrease in your sexual assaults that you face in your work placement dominated by men, then give up, give up exposing yourself. Do not show your cleavage. Do not. Do not show your ornaments to anybody apart from the man that deserves to, to see, which is your husband only. We urge the Muslim woman to give up her rubbish way of life, to give up her, 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 her selfless way of life and embrace Islam as an alternative way of life, to embrace the burqa, to embrace the niqab. Wear it and see how you feel. And you, I'm telling you that you will never give up wearing it because you would feel close to the Creator. And there's no way that we will give this up.